Hey guys, it's me Farhan from Team Studios and I know you guys have been asking me when are you gonna make tutorials, uh, when are you posting this and that, breakdowns so here we are now, Tutorial Sunday series this is the episode 1 and today I'm gonna show you how to master 3D cameras in After Effects so without further ado, let us get started Picture this, you've got yourself some footage but it's looking a bit flat, right? Well, buckle up, because with the 3D cameras, we're about to give it some serious depth and dimension. We're talking about bringing your scenes to life, making them pop right out of the screen. Let's get started with step 1. Let's start by creating a composition, name tutorial, set the resolution to full HD, choose a frame rate of 30 frames per second, set the duration to 10 seconds, hit enter, and voila, our composition is ready for action. In this tutorial, I've got a concept in mind. We'll animate the buildings in a 3D environment, seamlessly transitioning through a photo frame to seemingly popping out as a photograph. Using the 3D camera features in After Effects, we'll explore its full potential while guiding you through each step. Get ready to dive into the world of 3D animation and discover how versatile the 3D camera can be. To kick things off, we'll import our assets, the building PNG, photo frame PNG, the cloud PNGs, and these elements will form the foundation of our scene, the clouds providing the background depth. Additionally, we'll incorporate vector shapes and text directly from within After Effects to add style and flair to the composition. Next up, we'll begin by masking out the buildings from the image and laying out a primary scene composition with our assets. I'll incorporate the clouds in the background and foreground along with a solid layer with gradient ramp on it to replicate the real life sky. And then, we're gonna add some clouds in the foreground, along with the star shape layers to enhance the aesthetics. Additionally, we'll craft a scene featuring a photo frame to add depth to our composition. Now, it's time to introduce the main event, the 3D cameras. This is where the tutorial truly shines. We'll dive into the After Effects camera panel to explore its functionalities. Keep an eye on the user interface as we navigate through the camera controls. Transform controls. Here you'll find parameters for position, rotation, and point of interest. Position determines the camera's location in 3D space. Rotation controls its orientation, and point of interest specifies the point towards which the camera is aimed at. Camera options. Finally, you'll find additional camera settings such as depth of field shutter angle and aperture. These parameters further refine the look and feel to your composition, allowing you for precise control over the camera's behavior. Depth of field. This feature mimics the way the real world cameras focus on objects at varying distances. You can adjust the focus distance and aperture settings to control the blur effect on objects in the foreground and the background. Zoom and focus distance. These settings controls the camera's field of view, zoom adjusts the focal length of the lens, while focus distance determines the distance at which the object appears sharp. Camera view options. These options allow you to switch between different views of the camera, such as top, left, front, custom view, and active camera. You can also toggle between orthographic and perspective view to adjust the camera's view mode. Alright, let's get to it. I've brought in the photo frame composition for our 3D camera animation and now we're gonna parent the camera to a null object and make it 3D. Why? Cause in After Effects, using null objects to control a 3D camera is pretty handy. Number 1. Easy controls. Null objects are like the behind the scene wizards making camera moves a breeze without messing with the camera layer. Number 2. Clean organization. Hooking up the camera to a null object keeps things tidy, separating camera controls from the camera layer. Number 3. Smooth moves. With null objects, we can nail those buttery smooth camera moves that make our videos pop. Number 4. Layer Parenting Linking the camera to a null object means any tweaks to the null object also affects the camera. Perfect for fancy motion graphics. Number 5. Camera Coordination If we're using multiple cameras, null objects make sure they're all dancing to the same beat. And bottom line, null objects are like our secret sauce for mastering 3D cameras in After Effects. And with that in mind, let's proceed with the next step. Alright, let's position everything in 3D space, adjusting until it feels just right. We'll move the buildings forward while keeping the clouds in the background. Next, we'll align the photo frame with the composition and resize it if needed. Now, onto the animation. We'll open the transform properties of the null object and the camera layer. Playing with the z-axis and orientation will give it some life. Don't forget to add some smoothness with easy ease. While the null object handles most of the animation, 
We'll refine it by setting keyframes for the camera layer's position too. After a few preview runs, we'll nail down the animation flow. Once we're happy with the tweaks, it's time for the finishing touches. I'll add some color grading and stylized effects to enhance the look. Feel free to experiment and unleash your creativity. And there you have it, a quick guide to making your After Effects projects come alive with a 3D camera. Keep experimenting, keep creating and most importantly, have fun with it. See you in the next tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe and this is me Farhan signing out, goodbye.